Mm -hmm. Rolf on the button. First to play. Oh, if Rolf wants to raise with this, it's going to be costly. He's going to get snapped off. Fifty. Well, this could be the double up that gets Tony back into the game. How is he going to play it? Think for a long time and then just move? Probably. Because he knows what the amount of chips he's got. He's likely to get the action from a lot of hands. And then the only question will be, will the re-raise be big enough for Rolf to pass? Or will he try taking a shot? He wants to get paid. He wants so much to get paid, he may just call. Re-raise. Uh, he structured the re-raise in such a way Try and make it impossible for Rolf to pass. Well, he might as well have hailed a sign over his head, Tony, saying he had a very, very big hand. But he's playing the player. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to let Rolf in too cheap, and he doesn't want to give a Rolf a chance to get away. But I think. Tony's cunning plan may be working. Cool. Yes, he's got his call. Tony's played it in such a way as to guarantee the double up should he not get unlucky. Very, very clever. He played the player. He realised that if he came over the top for all the chips, he might lose him. Oh, and that's the perfect flop for Tony, but we've been down this road before. Top pair against the Kings. If Rolf gets lucky again and hits his second pair, Tony will be gone. Otherwise, Tony will be right back in this game. In essence, a carbon copy of the hand that hurt Tony Bloom so badly. All in. All in. All in. Tony goes to call, and let's see, will Rolf draw the eighth? The pair of kings, is it going to be kind this time? Well, Tony has played it absolutely perfectly, and he deserves for his kings to stand up this time. Hope for the sake of this game that they do. Well, the jack wasn't the one you wanted this time. Tony's got this big spade, so spades is OK. Last card. Come on, give us eight, mate. Queen of spades. Yeah. Tony, down. Down. Tony, Tony wins with the king flush. And a little bit of justice was done. <laughs> That's right. And now we have got a poker game. Tony has been playing poker all the way through. He has not been scared. He hasn't been tempted to just move all his chips in. And he's played his way right back into this match. And there's nothing in it now as far as I'm concerned. Not too much between them when you consider the chasm that there was ten hands ago. I make Tony Bloom favourite in this match now. And the psychological effect for Rolf of having had more than a million and now seeing the lead down to less than quarter of a million. He knows though that he's free rolling. And Tony has the hand. Rolf has a hand he's probably probably gonna raise with. Certainly going to play. And how will Tony decide to play this? He won't be throwing it away, but will he be coming over the top? Or does he not want to get in too deep against Rob before the flop? Rolf counting out his bet. Race. He's made it 60 to play. Rolf could in a race. 65 into 65,000. 65,000 to play. Tony might decide just to take a flop here because it's nice and cheap. <coughs> just in case Rolf has got something big. But it's a strong hand heads up. 
and it might be time for an over the top move. Because of the passive nature of his opponent, Tony might rein in his normal instincts and just call here because he knows he's so much stronger on flops, even out of position. Against most players, this would be a raise for Tony Bloom. Rolf's made it very cheap to see the flop. He's counting out a decent size raise. And that well, is the is correct you, play I'm heads fight, up, certainly it. against most players. And it's enough to take this a pot away, no danger, because Rolf does not have enough. On top, 105. 105,000 more. He's 105,000 too big an asking price, it surely is for Rolf, given his conservative nature. And quite frankly, given the nature of his hand as well. He can throw this away and maintain, uh, albeit narrow, chip lead. If he gets involved with this, it will get very, very expensive indeed. I think he's throwing it away. Plus. And all fours. He does indeed. Right decision made, but Tony more than halves the gap between the two. And he's only 110,000 in it now. 